Hi YouTube, in this video I will be showing you guys how to calculate area of three sides of triangle. So first I will be explaining you the concept and then we will start right. Alright guys, so look at this figure in which we have a triangle and it has side A, B and C. And in order to calculate the area we need length of three sides which is written in A, B and C in small letter. So only requirement is to calculate the area we need three things length of A, B and C. Okay. So I have assigned A equals to 2, B equals to 2 and C equals to 2. So there is a formula which we call as hero formula in order to calculate uh, area. So as you can see this is the formula in which uh, length minus uh, length of three sides minus S and then will be multiplied by the S where s is the half the parameter so in order to calculate s we we add three sides and then we divide by two so we get the value of s and then we put all these values in the formula so in order to calculate uh, the area so right now we have only three s a length of three sides so we have to find out first s then we can calculate by using this formula let's say that a equals to b equals to c equals to 2 so what we what we can do is in our first we will calculate s okay so s equals to 2 plus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 Now we will we will put all these values in the formula in order to calculate the area. Let's say that S is three three minus two Okay so 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 because the all lengths are same. So uh, let's calculate it. Three minus two equals to one. So we we, we have all these uh, uh, equals area comes three. So which is equals to one point seven. Okay, now let's start writing the code. What we need is that length uh, of three sides, and we will be putting this in the formula, and we will calculate the s. So that's all we have to do in our program. Let's get. So let's get started. Uh, first we will need the length of A so C out enter enter length of A and same is the case with B and C so uh, we need a data type float because there are some value which are in uh, points so that's why we need uh, floating a b and c now why we are writing these we are getting the length of three sides we are asking the user to enter three sides of uh, length of three sides so then we get, then we will be able to calculate the area okay now we are done okay we need a header header file mat.h because we have a square root in order to uh, access the square root uh, we have to include the mat.h header file We are done here. Now we have to calculate the S. 
So there is a formula we know that for calculating the S, S equals to A. We, we have to add three sides. And divided by two, so we will we, we will get the S now. Okay, in now we need area. So, in order to calculate the area, we know that there's a formula: square root S static. S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. Okay, so we are done. So this is our formula. Now uh, we just so we get the answer. Now what we are going to do is to going to print the uh, area. So area of three sides try is. Let's run this and see that if we get the answer same as we calculated in our uh, demonstration. Okay guys, uh, our program is over here and it says that enter the length of A. So we enter 2. Now it says that enter length B and C. Okay, so area is 1.73 which we calculated in our demonstration. So I hope uh, this might work for you. You understand the concept. If if still anything left or I'm not clear to you guys, you can just comment it down below with your problem. If you don't understand anything, and I hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel, and stay classy, guys.